Hi everyone, many of you asked me to go a little bit more in depth about this new class, Paradigm Shifts in Embryology. We are going to work on the premise that there are many forces that were present at the time of embryology that are still continuing to help us evolve and grow. I work with Vincent Fleury in the National Center for Scientific Research in Paris, and I have amazing video that you have never seen movement of the cells, what happened during embryo. He worked on different machines to see the movement of cells. So that was really enlightening to work with him. I also work with the people that follow the tradition of Eric Bleschmidt in Germany. For example, for many years now, I am asking questions to Brian Freeman to confirm what I'm feeling. So we start with fertilization, which is a very, very important part. Then we go through cleavage, implantation, and all the aspects of the first six to eight weeks of the embryo. The entrance of the sperm inside the ovum, believe it or not, is very important and leave a track in your body. And if we find the exact area in your body where this entrance happen, you'll see that you can begin to work on many pathological mechanisms in the body. When the sperm enter, is going to enter to specific receptors and release 20 to 40 billion of sparks of zinc, creating pathways of light through the egg, you have these sparks of things, these waves of light, and you can imagine it helps to restructure the cell. After that, when we know the entrance of the spermatozoa, you can work with endothelium in the blood vessel, endocardium. And I had some cases of rheumatic heart with streptococcus A can affect the endocardium, create an endocarditis, and it helps a lot to work with these principles and this touch. Also, endothelium, they describe a lot of endothelitis in COVID. So you can check that on many patients, something very important. We are going to see also how we can work with the SA node and arrhythmia. Then we have the cell division, and those divisions also leave a track in our body. And they are very important. They are foundation for our posture. And that's something we're going to start with the self-cleavage. Some very important event also is the first contact of the blastocyst with the uterus at plantation and implantation. When you contact the mother uterus, this is where you decide if you are welcome here, if you want to incarnate, if you want to connect with this world, this duality, this dimension or not. And people are not grounded sometimes because of that. People have all kinds of resistance to life, to relationship because of that. So this movement of at plantation and implantation is something we're going to check and find exactly where is the first contact in your body with this endometrium of the mother. That's something very important also is primitive streak and the notochord. And that's something you're going to see also beautiful in those movies when you can see all those cells moving. That's by itself. It's amazing to look at these movies that uh, I got from Paris. And so you have here this primitive streak that creates something fully new in the embryo, which is a formation of a third layer that's going to start very special energy in the body. And later on, the notochord is going to appear that is going to be a transient structure that is going to be very important to work with on many viscera, many organs, many bones. We're going to work with this notochord. This is your notochord here that's going to disappear and only stay in those little red spots in the nucleus proposus of your spine and part of your sphenoid. And we're going to do different labs. You see we're already lab 11, the connective stock, something that is still in your body. You leave a track again. The closing of the neural tube posteriorly, the very important neural crest. We spend hours and hours working on the neural crest, their function, what do they do in our body. They create all our autonomic nervous system, our adrenals, some of the pigment cells, the melanocytes, some part of our teeth, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. They are very important, and we unify all their function into something that is very important for the body and can help us understand evolution of the humans in the next hundreds or thousands of years. We can see where we're going to go with that. Then we are going to work with the allantois, still present in our body as the medial umbilical ligament. And it's very important function in some emotions. We can work with the alveoli of the lungs and their spiral movement, the mechos diverticulum that is still present in, in a certain number of adults, the ectodermal ring, not the ridge, that is a very important thickening of the ectoderm. Then we're going to work with the central nervous system for the end. And many of the three main brain flexure 
It is very important to make sure that this flexure happened properly in an adult or a child. And finally, we're going to do the cerebellum. So that's a pretty good overview of this embodied embryology, the foundation of our health, very, very much based in science, and it's going to give you a completely new horizon, a new understanding of the amazing place, the embryological movement that are still evolving today, moving inside your body, helping you to grow, change your cells and reorganize your body.